Hello there. One argument you sometimes hear from Jehovah's Witnesses goes something like this. They might say, well, yes, we, we know that there are problems. We get it. We know that there are problems with the Watchtower Society. It has issues throughout its history that it's made false promises that its handling of things like child abuse isn't what it should be. We, we get that. But I'm a Jehovah's Witness, they, they might say, purely because I want to have a relationship with God. I believe the Bible is God's word. I look forward to God's kingdom. I believe Jesus is God's son. And as a Jehovah's Witness, my faith allows me to have those beliefs and to encourage others to have those beliefs. So in other words, never mind the fact that Watchtower abuses people, people's human rights and mishandles child abuse and all of that. Never mind that. At least it gives me a relationship with God. At least it's oriented around the Bible. At least it looks forward to God's kingdom. Jehovah Bible, Jesus, kingdom. Those kind of words. <laughs> Those are the reasons why I'm a Jehovah's Witness. It's what they might say. And that is a difficult one. That's a difficult one to answer because on an individual basis, you know, that I can't argue against someone having, someone drawing that from the religion for themselves. But if you're going to use that excuse for all Jehovah's Witnesses, in other words, if you're going to say that the, the, the Jehovah's Witness faith is all about worshipping Jehovah, reading the Bible, believing in God's kingdom, then you have a problem. Why do I say that? Well, if you're a Jehovah's Witness watching this video and you subscribe to the argument I've just put forward, here's what you need to do. You need to go to your next meeting. Uh, the first opportunity you need to put your hand up to give a comment. And you need to stand up and say before the entire congregation, I believe in Jehovah. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the Bible as being God's word. I believe in God's kingdom. But I don't believe in the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society being God's, the earthly part of God's organisation. And I don't believe that the seven members of the governing body have any special role in God's purpose. And see what happens. Because as even though that might be your individual reason for being a Jehovah's Witness, because you want to believe all those things, that's not what the witness faith is all about. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to be a witness um, and only believe that the Bible is God's word, that God's name is Jehovah, etc, etc. It's just not acceptable. To be a Jehovah's Witness, to be exempt from punishment, to be exempt from shunning, you need to bend your knee to seven blokes in New York. You need to. So that would be my answer to that particular argument. And there are lots of arguments. I'm trying to kind of go through them one by one. As I hear one, I think, oh, you know, what would be my response to that? And there's my response. So if you're a Jehovah's Witness watching this video and that's your, that's your argument, then do what I've suggested. Go and stand in the Kingdom Hall and say what I suggested you say. But I think you'll find that the response to your brazen act of apostasy will be swift, will be brutal and will be meted out by your local elders. So I don't buy that answer or that argument one little bit. And uh, I hope if nothing else, by talking you through it and helping you reason through it, I've helped to sort things out in your head. So thanks for watching.